You may have heard of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, but what exactly do they believe in? Hey, it's Dan Zimmerman. Welcome back to Illustrate to Educate. In this short video, we'll dive into a detailed explanation of the basics of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, covering its origins, beliefs, sacred texts, and practices. The Seventh-day Adventist Church traces its roots to the Millerite movement of the 1840s, led by William Miller, a Baptist preacher who predicted the second coming of Jesus Christ in 1844. When Jesus did not return on the predicted date, known as the Great Disappointment, some Millerites regrouped and reinterpreted the prophecy, leading to the formation of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in 1863. The church was formally organized by Ellen G. White, James White, Joseph Bates, and J. N. Andrews, among others. Ellen G. White is particularly notable for her extensive writings which continue to influence Adventist theology and practice. When it comes to beliefs about God and Jesus, Seventh-day Adventists hold a Trinitarian belief, affirming the existence of one God in three persons, Father, Son, or Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit. They believe that Jesus Christ is the divine Son of God who became incarnate, lived a sinless life, died on the cross for humanity's sins, and rose from the dead. His life and sacrifice are central to their faith and salvation. Now let's take a look at their sacred texts. The Bible is the primary sacred text for Seventh-day Adventists, considered the inspired word of God and the final authority in matters of faith and practice. They use both the Old and New Testaments and emphasize a literal interpretation of its teachings. Ellen G. White's writings, particularly The Great Controversy and Steps to Christ, are also highly regarded, though they are seen as secondary to the Bible. Now let's take a look at their religious practices. Adventists observe the Sabbath on Saturday, the seventh day of the week, from sunset on Friday to sunset on Saturday. This day is dedicated to rest, worship, and fellowship. Next, a healthy lifestyle is emphasized, including a vegetarian diet, abstinence from alcohol, tobacco, and mind-altering substances. Many Adventists also follow the health principles outlined in Ellen G. White's writings. Then there's worship services, which include weekly services including Sabbath school, Bible study, and a worship service with singing, prayer, and a sermon. They also have prayer meetings and various ministries throughout the week. When it comes to baptism, baptism by immersion is practiced, symbolizing the believer's faith in the death and resurrection of Jesus and their commitment to a new life in Christ. Lastly is the second coming. Adventists strongly emphasize the imminent return of Jesus Christ, which they believe will be visible, personal, and a worldwide event. This belief influences their focus on evangelism and missionary work. Lastly, let's look at some of their key beliefs. First is the Great Controversy. This is the overarching narrative in Adventist theology, describing the cosmic battle between Christ and Satan, which began in heaven and continues on earth. Human history is viewed through this lens with an emphasis on the ultimate victory of Christ. Next is sanctuary doctrine. Adventists believe in a heavenly sanctuary where Jesus performs his mediatorial work. They hold that in 1844, Jesus entered the second and final phase of his atoning ministry, a belief known as the investigative judgment. Then there's beliefs about the state of the dead. They believe in soul sleep where the dead remain unconscious until the resurrection at Christ's second coming. Next is their holistic view of health that includes physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. This is often manifested in the church's extensive healthcare network, including hospitals and clinics. Lastly is their belief about religious liberty. Adventists are strong advocates for the separation of church and state, and the freedom of individuals to practice their faith without government interference. Did you find this video about the Seventh-day Adventist Church to be helpful? If so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Illustrate to Educate to support more simple and objective videos on topics that matter.